Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today is the High End for Cheap Christmas in July edition, hosted by my incredibly talented friends, Yanni and Diane of Deco Easy and Kiki of Kiki's DIY. I've decided on a couple of really cute coastal pieces. Let's get into it. To make my Sandman, I'll start with two styrofoam balls. I think they're an inch and a half and a two inch. First thing is to cut a wee bit from one end of the smaller ball. I'm using a serrated knife to do this. I just want a little bit of a flat spot there. That'll be his head so that it'll sit nicely on his body. So for his body, I'll cut a wee bit from top and bottom of the larger ball, and then I'll set these aside. I'm also using a four and a half inch styrofoam disc for his base. I'm mixing up some joint compound or spackle with some Americana sun bleached acrylic paint. I want to get a light sandy color. I'll mix it until it's well blended. All the color is completely incorporated into the joint compound. I put my styrofoam balls on skewers to make them easier to handle and I'll spread them with joint compound until they're completely covered. I also have a paintbrush and some water handy to help with the spreading. I covered the disc with my mixture as well, including the sides. I'll push a couple of toothpicks into my base. This will anchor my sandy snowman. Then I'll push my larger ball onto the toothpicks, making sure it's on there firmly. I'll add two more toothpicks to that ball and place the small ball on top of that. Again, making sure it's well secured. I'll come in with some more joint compound at the bottom of the sandman to blend it into the mixture on the base. And I use the brush to smooth it. And then I'll set them aside to dry. I went through my stash and I found these Dollar Tree tree ornaments. They're from last Christmas, maybe the Christmas before. And I'm gonna use these for his arms. They have the look of coral, so I'm gonna snip off a couple of pieces. They'll work perfectly. Also from my stash is this wee bucket. I used these for my Ferris wheel that I made last summer. I'll paint it with two coats of folk art chalk paint and patina. This will be his hat. And while I'm at it, I'll give his arms a coat of patina also. Now that he's well dry, I'll dry brush him with ceramic coat maple sugar tan. This is why I chose the lighter sun bleach color for his main base color, because I'm coming in here with the maple sugar to give him some depth of color and enhance his texture. And of course I do the same to his base. I'll continue until I have the color I want. I wanted to see shell for his nose, but I didn't have any that were small enough. So I'm gonna use the pointy end of this skewer I'll give it a couple of coats of maple sugar tan. I want to pull some coral color into this, so I'll paint a stripe around the bucket with Americana Coral Blush. And I'll paint this wee wood star with coral blush as well. I decided to paint the rim of the pail with it too. I want my sandy snowman to look like he's right at the water's edge, so I'll paint in some water with Ceramco Tropic Bay Blow. Using the back of a skewer, I'll dip dot the starfish with some maple sugar tan. I'll dip dot the stripe on the pail with white and I'll add white lines to the rim. 
I add some burnt sienna stripes to his nose just for some contrast and I'll paint in his smile. I clip off the end of the skewer and I'll push it in just above his mouth. He's starting to come together. To make his shades, I'll fold a bit of black cardstock in half and I'll draw one lens along the fold and then I'll cut it out. With a white pencil, I'll draw in some lens reflection and highlights. I'll glue them into place. I used fabric glue because it's flexible. I also glue on the seashell cutouts to his body as buttons. I happen to have those in my stash. They were attached to some ribbon. I'll push his arms into place. I'm not gluing them, but sure you could. I'll dry brush the water with Americana turquoise to add some depth and some white to add some highlight. I use snow text for the ocean foam, dabbing it on with a paintbrush. To seal it, I'll coat everything with a layer of Mod Podge by dabbing it on with a cosmetic sponge. To embellish, I'll glue seashells and the starfish to his base. On the other side, a glue on this wee sandy and bright sign. I printed this on cardstock and cut it out. And finally, I'll drape these cute wee Christmas lights from his arms and I'll pop his hat on. That's my favorite kind of snowman, one made from sand on the beach. For this project, I've added maple sugar tan to my joint compound. And I have a supply of small shells and sea glass. I'll spread the mixture onto my styrofoam cone in small areas and I'll press the shells into the joint compound. You won't need any glue for this. The shells will stick perfectly into the compound. I actually made a couple of larger ones of these topiaries for a friend's wedding and they're still around today and that was years ago. I'll continue working my way up and around the cone, adding shells as I go. Once all my shells are on, I'll come in and fill in the gaps with some sea glass. I just love this. I think it's got such an organic feel and it's so simple and pretty. And of course, it's very budget friendly. All of this stuff can be purchased at the Dollar Tree and other discount stores. I have this starfish for the topper. I'll hot glue a skewer to the back of it. And I'll glue a seashell on the back to cover the skewer. I snip the skewer down the size. And before adding it, I'll fill in the top of the tree with the joint compound and I'll push the starfish into the top of the cone. I'm going to add some more sea glass to that area there.
and I'll glue this wee jute bow at the bottom of the starfish. To display it, I'll drape some fishing net over a Dollar Tree crate, which is from a previous project and is already stained to look like driftwood, so that worked out. I just tucked some of the fishing net between the slats and drape it across the crate. I'll tie it off at the bottom and I'll cut away the excess netting. That's the perfect base for this coastal Christmas tree topiary. Maybe this cost me $5 tops to make. I love it. Thank you, Yanni, Diane, and Kiki for bringing us together for this collab. You'll find links to their channels as well as the playlist and a list of my supplies in the description box. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.